All right. This one bothers the living snot out of me. And it should really bother you. So you guys know how much I've been encouraging you, especially as parents, to participate in the process of your children's education by standing against school boards that would teach your children to be poisoned by the garbage of critical race theory and by psychologically damaging your children by the use of these superfluous mandates. Now, you've all been doing a very good job of, of protesting these things. You've been doing a very good job of standing and speaking out at these school board meetings. And these spineless school board members, many of whom should be in jail, have gotten so bothered and upset by this that they are taking away the very things that they are legally obligated to do. They're shutting down school board meetings. They're not allowing you to speak. They don't have a backbone. They are spineless people. And the more you stand up against them, the better it becomes for your children. Every legal remedy we should be standing up against them. And you guys have been doing a great job. To be honest with you, we're winning this battle. We're winning it greatly. But here's the thing. There's a national organization. They are called the National School Boards Association. They're about as worthless as the CTA. We call them the CTA here in California, the California Teachers Association, they're a bunch of spineless thugs that want to destroy your ability to have a voice in the education of your children. We have watched example after example after example of these hateful, brutal, ignorant teachers who want no accountability. They want to destroy your children. That's exactly what they want to do. And now the National School Boards Association, which by the way, represents 90,000 school boards in the country, 90,000 school boards. In a September 29th letter, they asked the president of the United States, this is not an exaggeration, to quote, deal with the growing number of what they call threats of violence and acts of intimidation occurring across the nation. By the way, the growing number of acts of, of violence and intimidation that are taking place in the nation are taking place by people like Antifa and so on and so forth, but the people who are actually protesting the way that they are obligated to do so for the sake of their parents, they're the ones that are being called violent people. What they ask here is absolutely crazy. They want the President of the United States to declare parents who speak on behalf of their children to school boards as domestic terrorists. That's what they want. The letter you can watch, you can read the letter. It's on the Epic Times. It's a disgusting letter. It's embarrassing. It literally is one of the ugliest things that I've seen in a long time. And it is their attempt at wanting to destroy the voice of the greatest advocates that exist for our children, and that is the parents. Folks, when you see stuff like this, you know what you do? You stand against it. You stand up for righteousness. This is the life of your children. You run for school boards. You take over these school boards, the way that you have the opportunity to do so, do not allow your children to be taken away, whisked away by these evil individuals who want to destroy them and want to completely, completely just annihilate their minds and remove them of critical thinking that they might become literal, just barnstorming. I, I, guys, this is, I'm telling you, this is crazy. It's time to put an end to it. Keep doing what you're doing. I guess if I were to tell you what my purpose for making this video is, it's number one, continue to pray because you are in a spiritual battle. It is a spiritual battle, but continue doing what you're doing because it's working. 
because people are beginning to freak out. Why? Because for the first time, they are beginning to lose control because they're being confronted. By the way, I don't know if you, maybe I don't think I talked about this, but they're asking the president to do it based on his executive authority. Those are the terms that are used. They want the legislative process to be bypassed and they want him to sign an executive order. They're calling upon the dictator of the United States to do exactly that. Folks, keep standing. We're winning. God is doing something here. Don't back down. We know that God wants to do something and it's for the sake of our children. It's for the sake of our nation. We must take a stand. God bless you.